We had to capture this moment because I'm actually going to cook something in the cast iron tonight. And I'm gonna do it all myself with some small direction from Adam. Right now, oh, I'm gonna make uh, scalloped potatoes, cheesy scalloped potatoes. And uh, so I'm just peeling some potatoes right now. So I'll give Abby some guidance and show her how to do the charcoal and, and you know what I do to um, cook in the, the camp oven. I am using a um, recipe from one of our cast iron cookbooks. So it does tell me the amount of uh, charcoal I need. So I'm going to, uh, to try to see if I can do this. I think I can. I'm not worried. Well, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a good recipe. It's just, it's Dutch oven scalloped potatoes and it sounded really good and Abby mm -hmm. wanted to give it a try. So she's gonna do all the prepping and cooking for that. I'm gonna get the Hasty Bake fired up pretty soon too. We're gonna do a couple of uh, prime fillets. Ooh. So steak and tater night. Nice little, oh yeah, and it's New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. Happy I, uh, New Year's Eve. I'm sure some people are already celebrating. I don't know. I don't know the time difference. I don't even know what time it is right now. It's the good thing about vacation. It don't is. tell me. It don't, is. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. I don't want to know. She don't want to know the time. I, okay. I needed him to tell me when the Chiefs game started, and uh, we are watching that. Um, yep, we got that going. Unfold. So TV's out here on the side of the Kodiak, so she yep. can watch the Chiefs. Now, I've been noticing this down there. It's probably hard to see, but it looks like some of the locals down there. And what I've noticed is they've set up two Christmas trees. I'm assuming they're going to have a big bonfire tonight burning the Christmas trees on the beach there. I wonder if that's one of their uh, traditions. I bet you it is. So I like that. We'll be looking forward to seeing that. And uh, we'll show you how the, the first uh, Dutch oven cook goes tonight. Onions. You're killing that garlic. Well, we're making it fine here. Finer. Finely chopped garlic. I think that's a good amount of garlic. Don't be shy with garlic. Don't be shy. Butter? Butter. Everything. Everything is better with butter. So we also got some, this uh, Parmesan cheese. They, the recipe listed the cheese. Parmesan cheese as optional. <laughs> <I know. laughs> cheese is never an option, uh, no. it's mandatory. No, it is not, it's going in my dish. Is that your salt? This is my salt. All right. That's enough potatoes. Yep. Spilled half the cheese on the thing. Ah. Half a cup, cup of cheese, whatever. <laughs> I got that. Milk. Mm 
and the optional Parmesan. You know that's going to be good. I'm not even going to measure this, but extra is going in. It's looking good. Done. Time for charcoal. How many charcoal are you using? I'm going to use 24. Okay. I mean, that was one extra, but that's okay. Looks good. It does. Yep. Nice. OCD could get the best of you on this, couldn't it? <laughs> Okay. This thing's a little wobbly. I don't love that. Do you want it like underneath or like to the kind of the side? Just kind of underneath it is fine. You don't. They don't have to be all the way under it. I kind of line them up with the bottom corner. Makes sense. Again, this is Abby's first time cooking something in the Dutch oven. It's gonna be good though. Now you're gonna know what I go through here. It's a lot of work, uh, but it's fun. It's uh, it's very relaxing. You're really it's it's sort of like there's you're not really thinking of anything else but this in a good way. All right, I gotta set my timer. How does that look? It looks great. Perfect job, babe. Thanks. And we got this during this beautiful sunset yes. right there. Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I want to take a peek at how our potatoes are doing. Ooh! Okay, they look really cheesy. Oh, those look great. Yes. Oh, yeah, they're cooking in nicely. Yes. That looks great, babe. Looking pretty good. Abby's swapping out the charcoal now. Putting the fresh batch on to continue the cook. That's heavy. <laughs> you want me to help you? Maybe. Here. Here, I'll give you a hand. Second batch of charcoal. It looks really good. Yep. It's, that's going to be a good potato dish that you're making. I think so too. So Abby's got her potatoes cooked. They look fabulous. We also have a couple of prime fillets that we're going to be grilling to go with that. Yes, sir. We're going to be using our little hasty bake to get the job done. We got really nice hot charcoal going right now. And what I do is a pre-salt and dry brine in the fridge all day. 
and then put garlic and pepper on here at the end. I oil them and then garlic and pepper. Them. Smells like garlic and butter and cheese, and I think we are done. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks great. Oh, it's perfect. Look at it bubbling up. It looks perfect. We're done. And you can smell it. Oh, it smells so oh, good. Great job, babe. That is awesome. I can't wait to try them. I can't either. Oh, that one was broken half. I've never seen that happen. No, we're not supposed to do it like that. Well, now we got three fillets. That's okay. That's actually the exact amount that I can eat, that half. So. Yeah, but I've never perfect. had one break in half before. Weird. <laughs> Okay, these look really good. I'm very proud that I made them myself and I really enjoyed cooking in the cast iron. Did you? I did. So th how did it scoop there? It scooped really easily. It's really garlicky. Is it, I used a lot of garlic. Is it burnt or stuck to the bottom? It looks like it is a little bit and it's a little crispy on the edge here. Well, it looks like they did pretty good. All right, will you give us a taste test? Yes. And let us know how you did. This is Abby's very first Dutch oven recipe or cook that she's done. Mm -hmm. All right, get lots of... Uh... Don't burn your mouth. Oh, I'm going to burn my mouth. Mm. Wow. Pretty good, huh? It's really good. <laughs> it's really cheesy. It's really garlicky. So too much garlic for you. No, if it you're isn't. making it, it's it's a lot of garlic, but it tastes really good, and the cheese is great, and I like the crust. It's kind of got a little crispy on the top. I'm very happy. I'm very pleased. Me too. That turned out really good. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, babe. That is an awesome first Dutch oven. That's hot. This right. I put it in my mouth and took it out. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> it is hot, fresh out of the pot there. All right. Well, Abby's scalloped potatoes turned out fantastic, yeah. and then we've got our grilled filet right here the steaks that we've done we have shown these many times they turned out good we temped them there at about 115 to 120 and we pulled them off so this is going to be our new year's eve dinner right here we're going to see how long we can stay up <laughs> <laughs> i already have we're I not already... going to make it to midnight no, no, no. I, this is what we normally do we normally celebrate uh new york's new year yep and then we kiss each other and go to sleep Yep. So 11.05, both of us. <laughs> we are getting ready to, uh, well, we're going to make our plate. We're going to go over there we're and watch. We're on New York time. We are. We're, so, so we're good. We are good. Because yep. we're on Eastern. Yes. Ah, it's even better. So we're, we're an good. hour and a head here. We're good. We're good. From, we're good. from home. <laughs> we're going to watch the, uh, we like watching the first 48 on A&E. So we're going to watch yep. that and have our New Year's email. I'm ready for you to try these. All right. I'm ready to try them. Okay.